It is 513. It is Wednesday. And this morning on Ready Pet Go is that same old walk around the block feeling stale and is that game of maybe fetch mm -hmm. missing some excitement these days? Maybe it's time to shake it up for your dog's routine. That's right. We found just the place out in Portage County. It's called Duke's Canine Dash and Splash and it has something for every pup no matter their age, shape or speed. Okay, get it. Go, 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 go. Water? Duke's has it. Dock diving is our passion. The reason we got involved is because of my son and our dog, Duke. In Northeast Ohio's canine sports community, Duke's is long considered a premier stop for dock diving, in which dogs jump for distance or height into a body of water. My specialty is anywhere from a beginner dog who's never seen water to a dog who can go to the national championship and try and jump 27, 30 foot. The demand for dock diving facilities prompted owner Michelle Filler to expand, adding more pools, but not stopping there. We are now doing barn hunt, fast cats, which is a lure chasing event. We also offer frisbee and a search and rescue obstacle course, uh, and actually a lot more. So it's grown uh, quite a bit. Duke's canine dash and splash now offers a wide variety of other sports and activities for every kind of dog like Fast Cat. The lure is uh, pulled out in front of them. It's a 100-yard dash that gets timed from when, they're, from when they start to finish. An obstacle course, too. Good job. And a canine toss and fetch league meets here, too, with clubs around the world. The sport is growing in popularity right here in Northeast Ohio. Right. Lastly, have you ever heard of barn hunt? It's a scent work sport in which your dog searches around a straw bale course to sniff out hidden plastic tubes containing live rats. The dogs are never gonna actually be able to interact with the mouse, but they can smell it. Um, so then that tube is hidden within a um, course of straw bales, and you are yeah. teaching the dog to alert to you when they have found it. <laughs> Rat? I Sherry Bloom and her dog Echo are well known in the sport. Bloom teaches classes and competes with Echo who just happens to hold the highest level of achievement in barn hunt. So it's really a nice thing to do for owners. They can come into the ring, it's a gateway to performance events. So you don't have any training, though maybe they've never taken a dog in any kind of ring before, they can come into barn hunt. A great option for dogs of all ages and most sizes. The only physical prerequisite, your dog must be able to climb up onto a bale and won't be opposed to walking through a straw tunnel. Whether it's scent, speed, or agility, Michelle Filler hopes dogs and their humans find something here to experience together as a team. Yes, Claire. Good boy. The more active you are with your dog, the more uh, that you have to work together as a team, the more you're gonna strengthen that bond between human and dogs. And Dukes is having a community kickoff this Saturday, May 20th from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can take your dog and have them try some of the different activities. We have all the information you need on our Ready Pet Go section on WKYC.com. Mm. That was a lot of fun. That's like yeah. Cedar Point for dogs. Totally. Incredible. The best is when, because <laughs> I have three dogs. I've, I've brought this up numerous times. When you have a dog that actually fetches and brings it back, Right? It's like one an of the three one of the three of mine actually brings it back to one you. of them. Right? <laughs> the other one just goes and gets it and that's the end of the game. Yeah. And what's fun about that too, it's for dogs as you'd seen earlier in the piece, beginners. Yeah. And then others that are more experienced. So right? yeah. just a lot of fun, no, no question. It's good exercise for them too.